I lived in Madison for a long time, but I've only lived in Shank Atwood for a couple of years. And so uh, I saw that there was a, a Blink grant application deadline coming up, and I thought, oh, hey, how about uh, a neighborhood portrait project? That'll be a really cool way to get to know people in my neighborhood, and uh, you know, it'll, it'll be a way to interact and get to know people and also give something to the neighborhood. And of course, it turned out to be you know, a way bigger project than I'd first imagined. Um, these girls were at the, I shot this at the opening of the Goodman Community Center. A couple of shots from the bike shop um, over at, at, uh, at the park playing. Uh, I love this shot and I, I, I rolled past Sheps and uh, that's the ice cream factory down the street. So it was the middle of summer, uh, but as you can see, they're wearing full snowsuits. Uh, so they're just outside to take a break and warm up. I, I never take pictures of people without their knowledge. I don't think that that's okay. A lot of people are fine with that. That's what they're into. Um, I'm the opposite because I, I feel sensitive to people's, you know, right to be private and not have their picture taken, not be imaged. So for me, it is about the relationship. Even if, you know, we're only talking for five minutes or, or whatever it is, or half an hour. Um, Somebody's letting me into their world and sort of, and I'm always close when I'm taking these photos. Um, the camera and the lenses that I use require that I be fairly close to my subject. So we have to talk. They know that I'm there. There's no sneaking up. And I like that. I like having, uh, having to have the interaction. I wouldn't feel okay about doing it any other way.